Hello everyone. Today I will introduce to you the clearance analysis function in road analysis of LiDAR 360 MLS. Clearance analysis is a specialized spatial analysis that enables users to determine and identify whether there are occlusions or obstacles above a target area. Take this picture as an example. It can be seen from the picture that 20 meters of upwards clearance is required in accordance with the width of the motorway. In other words, there must be no obstructions in this area. According to the requirements, clearance analysis can be carried out in combination with vehicle-mounted laser point cloud data. First, the original point cloud data has been loaded into the software through the new projection function. In addition to laser point source data, clearance analysis requires the original data to have a prepared reference line. The reference line can be the trajectory of the original data collection, a customized line, or a vector line. On the Road Analysis page, select the Clearance Analysis function. In the dialog box, there are three line types under Baseline, Trajectory, Vector, and Custom. Here, we can also set the size of the trajectory and render steps. The software provides a total of three different analysis modes, Rectangle, Trapezoid, and Circle. According to the requirements of the picture, you will choose the rectangle mode for analysis. A lane center line has been extracted through the map element function, and we will use the center line for subsequent analysis. It can be seen that in the picture, it is required that there should be no obstacles within 20 meters from the ground and that the width of the road is 5 meters. Thus, we should adjust the height and width to 20 meters and 5 meters accordingly. By default in clearance analysis, the bottom edge of the selected vector is used as the center point and click OK. If the range of 5 meters is set and the vector line is in the middle of the road, then there will be no left or right offset. Similarly, since the selected lane line is on the road, there will be no up or down offset. If we check center mode, it will modify the initial analysis range position so that the reference line is in the center of the analysis range. If we check podetium mode, we can preview the analysis range in 3D. If not checked, the preview of the analysis range will not appear in 3D. Finally, we can set the source category. We can see that for the current road, we need to analyze whether these tall trees are within the set analysis range. Previously, we used the point cloud classification function to classify the data into several point clouds. The category of trees is high vegetation, so we will check high vegetation under from class. The results of the clearance analysis is saved as category information, so we need to set the target category under to class. In this case, we will select reserved 20. And finally, click OK. After the analysis is completed, we can see that the points within the range we just set have been extracted into the category of reserved 20. The clearance analysis we just carried out has the reference line in the middle of the road. But what if the reference line is on the side of the road? Then how do we set the range required in the picture? Previously, we used the roadside detection function in map element to detect the roadside on the far right side of this data. If we use this roadside line as the reference line during clearance analysis, the roadside line must be selected along with the requirements of the picture. That is to say, the height and the width is still 20 and 5 meters respectively. Now, 
The location of the center point is at the bottom corner side of the road. However, according to the picture, the current clearance area should be in the middle of the road. So, the clearance area should be offset to the left side of the screen, and the vector line should be offset to the point in the lower right corner of the clearance analysis range. Thus, we can adjust the value in the lateral offset to correct this. The amount of offset is exactly half of the width, and so we should set it to 2.5 meters. Likewise, if we enter negative 2.5 meters, the vector line will be offset to the point in the lower left corner of the clearance analysis range instead. Vertical offset can be adjusted in a similar way. If we are required to analyze a 20 meter range 10 meters above the reference line, we would enter 10 meters in the vertical offset. This shifts the initial point of analysis of the vertical height upwards by 10 meters, while the actual height of the area being analyzed remains at a total of 20 meters. If analyzing the area below the reference line, we can enter a negative value in the vertical offset. In this case, because there is no need for a vertical offset, we can leave the value at zero. Other settings are similar. After finalizing the details and parameters for analysis, click OK. After the analysis is completed, we can see the road side is used as the reference line and that the results of the analysis was from the middle of the road. Afterwards, we can extract these points of interest by applying Extract by Class and remove the data if desired. This concludes the video on the clearance analysis function in Road Analysis of LiDAR360 MLS. Thank you for watching!